Rosie. I thought Rosie was doing it. Rosie, yeah. Rick, Rosie, Valerie. Um, Rosie, Rick, Rosie, Valerie. Back when I first started. Those right. are the three main ones. I think I could be the fourth. Oh. Yeah. In seniority, as far as the number of years. Right, I, may, I may have gotten more than Valerie. I don't know. Well, how long have you been driving? It seems like I've been here for three or four years. I've lost track of time. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I still have the signs up. There's the new 50s. Yeah. Yeah, I just lost track of time. Let's see. We, you know, I know when I started writing, I mean, I don't know exactly when, but when they took away the parking spaces, they made the spaces on the first floor and the transit center metered spaces, that's when the carpool spaces. That's when I started writing. Uh -huh. And I ran into the gal who told me about the Cedar Mill shuttle. I ran into her at work today. And so I told her, today is the last day of the shuttle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you were writing when I started. Yeah. Writing, so yeah. After you. I've been writing for a year. I guess they have five original customers left. Oh, really? I'm nowhere near an original. Yeah. I'm, I've been writing for a lot of years. It's interesting to see how, like, on my trip, you know, yeah, people, and then they drop off, and then you get oh, new people, and then yeah. they drop off, and then you get new people. <laughs> right. Like, generations kind of like. livable by keeping fuel less cars off the road, less yeah. pollution, support the light rail. Oh my God. Yeah. Providing uh, this kind of excellent service. Oh yeah, you're really close Thank to the bus you. stop. Yeah, I'm very, I'm extremely fortunate. I yeah. I can't tell you how happy I am. Yeah. And I feel for my colleagues who aren't so lucky. Thank right. you. Nice knowing you. Take care. Can we write a petition to put a stop sign? Uh, yes, you can. stop on my house too? Yeah, you can You know, get going about petitioning to get a bus stop closer to your house to stay on it. You, you're not joking, are you? No, I'm not joking. Oh, okay. Yeah, it may take them a while. They may, you know, like say no and say no. But you just stay on it, and bug them enough, and get a few more people, you know, aboard or whatever, and find a place that seems safe. But if it's not near the fixed route, they're not going to change the route. Oh, okay. okay. It's got to be on the fixed route. Where, where, where is the route? The route is, comes from here, right? Right. I'll give you a uh, schedule map. Which direction are you going to from here? Mine is uh, if you. Turn right on Bayon, that's where I go. Okay. On Bayon. Oh, so there's a bus stop right here? Yeah. Now. yeah. Right, this is the closest part to this neighborhood. They got something big on. Oh, I see, I see it yeah. down there. It's a. Uh, yeah, right? No, it turns there, because yeah. I saw the sign down there. Like several miles with me. I wish they had a place here, a big park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drive right there. Park. Yeah, you can I bring up that idea, I brought up that idea of some kind of a park and ride. They're looking to it, they're looking into it, they're on Thompson. There's, yeah, huh. Uh -huh. I know they have one, they actually have one. It's left here. That's I know there's one down to some church or something on Barnes, maybe? I don't know. All the way to the end and then. There is... where is that? I live all the way back, but I think you can take a look, loop here yeah, or something. Yeah, right here yeah. so I can get back Yeah, out sure. Again. That's okay. nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And here's uh, the times and the route and the numbers you need to call. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome.
Thanks for riding, and uh, hopefully it'll work out for you somehow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if they just increase the number of parkings in Sunset Channel, yeah, that I would know. have been okay I with know. me We've too. Been talking about it for years. I know it's not gonna happen. You know. <laughs> but there is a lot somewhere, I don't remember where it is, but it's somewhere near Sunset Highway. It's on like the 89 or something. Shuttle's going to ride off into the sunset. Yeah. Lots of kids, and these little kids that are like three and four, they're just riding their bikes. There's no far, you know, I mean, too far. Yeah, uh. And it's really getting hard to, to get into there, you know, uh, without hitting somebody. Uh. A lot of neighborhoods are like that. It's almost door to door everywhere. It could be unsafe in some instances. Yeah. You know, like Somebody got dropped off up there and got hit by another car or oh. across the street. It's just it's yeah. small and narrow. Oh. And look and yeah. Just drop off anywhere in front of their house or the block corner. And so I don't know. It's maybe an idea that would have worked if they had done more flag stops. You know, we just come out to a corner in this neighborhood, come out to oh. a corner in that neighborhood. But piercing into every single door in all these small neighborhoods uh, was getting a little bit old. Yeah. And a little bit, a little bit unsafe, a little scary. If you're, you know, when you're trying to, you're always in a hurry, right? Yeah, no, if you're really in a hurry, no people so can. It is and driving mass transit. Then you got to go to these little tiny neighborhoods, go as slow as you can, and yeah. you know, get anybody back up. I think it's would have worked with more flags off with the personal service. Yeah. I mean, I think part of it's actually on the boundary of the shuttle on Thompson. That's yeah. Well, we expand down to Laidlaw, so you know, I'm not sure how you go down there and turn around. With yeah. Like yeah. See, that's the problem. Is like there's only it's, kind of road, it's, just it's it's finding a decent route for the bus. You know, it's it's not. It's not like you can just route it anywhere. If you do, we have people complain, you know. All the Hey, you know, you deserve after 30 years or whatever it's been, so. You know, you've kind of burned this, you know. Well, it's nice to get off big buses and yeah. social media and supervisors. And yeah. Yeah. Keeping track of you except for the schedule that Taylor gives you in the morning and the cell phone. Yeah, I saw they actually have you uh, paddle for it. So, nice little getaway. I know, you know, unless I transfer, you know, I'm driving buses up. I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. So, yeah. get a little break in driving somehow. That's all it was for me. 
make the best of it.